Hello, this is Bryant Myers and welcome to another edition of Debunking Flat Earth. I have some exciting updates to share with you as Orion is just passing its halfway point. And just yesterday it was at its furthest distance from Earth, around 268,000 miles. So in fact the image that you're seeing here was taken around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 28th, which was yesterday. And uh, you could just breathtaking images. And again, reaching the halfway point of this 26-day mission, the spacecraft remains in healthy condition, according to NASA, as it continues its journey in a distant retrograde orbit. Now, engineers had originally planned an orbital maintenance burn yesterday, but determined it was not necessary because of Orion's already precise trajectory in distant retrograde orbit. Just a great testimony to how accurate our laws of physics are and how just the wonderful predictive power that they have. And just a great confirmation of our heliocentric model that it really does work and that it really is the correct model of reality. Now to date, the flight controllers have accomplished or are in the process of accomplishing about 40% of the test objectives associated with this mission, with many remaining objectives set to be evaluated during entry, descent, and splashdown and recovery. And speaking of recovery, NASA's Exploration Ground Systems team, led by the U.S. Navy, is already beginning initial operations of recovery of Orion when it splashes down in the Pacific Ocean. So just some updates there, but now I did find on GOES-16 East, over here, the same time that they reported because there was a timestamp for this image that you just saw. Now, this is a great match. So if you just kind of rotate this up a little bit, you'll see that this right here matches this up here. You can see right along the mountains here um, in South America, you know, match down here. You can see this down here matches this right in here. Uh, you can see again, this, this here matches this over here. I mean, it's just a perfect match. Again, this is just great confirmation that the images that we're getting from Orion are real, that this mission is real, again, that we are going to the moon, and it's really just all so exciting. I mean, it's a secondary benefit that it's a confirmation of the globe and it debunks the flat Earth, but first and foremost for me, it's just a triumph of humanity and mankind to, to accomplish what we're accomplishing here and, you know, to, to set the groundwork for colonizing the moon. And they are actually planning on creating this gateway uh, satellite around the moon that's going to be sort of like a connecting point. And it's a collaboration of, I think, 13 or 14 different nations. And then from there, you know, going to Mars and perhaps eventually colonizing Mars in the next 10 to 20 years. So just, it's just so exciting. It's just so wonderful. And for flat earthers to deny all this, it's just, it is just a slap in the face on the progress and innovation and the and, and how humankind has advanced just so tremendously. So thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe to this channel and, and do leave some comments. I always appreciate your comments and again, have a really great night.